In this video, I'm going to show how to download and install the Jax wallet on Windows. We're also going to check the file hash to make sure that the download is authentic, wasn't tampered with um, during the download process. And then we'll we'll start up Jax and, and take a look. So to get started, I'm going to go into Chrome web browser. And I'm going to come up to my search bar and type Jax 2 xs I O. Click enter and we're here on the JAX website. You want to make sure that you're at the correct location by inspecting the address JAX.io and we see down here JAX um, supports multiple different cryptocurrencies and uh, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and click get JAX free. That brings us to an install page and as you can see there's multiple uh, different platforms supported. We're going to do Windows. So just click Windows and then we get the option to do 64-bit or x86. We're going to do 64. Download starts. Uh, when the download is finished, you can right click on it. And we're going to click show in folder. And that pulls up the actual file that was downloaded. Now this is the one that we're going to want to check uh, the file hash of to verify that the download wasn't uh, tampered with when it was uh, coming across the internet. So in order to do that, we're going to go into Windows PowerShell. So to get to PowerShell, we want to go down to the search bar and type PowerShell and it's going to be should pop up it'll be the one with the blue icon just click it and then it opens up and you get this what is called a command prompt where we can type commands so the first thing we need to do in order to check the file hash is go back to the folder where the file is located and we need to copy the path the location. So up here in the search bar, just select everything, right click copy. And we go back into PowerShell and we need to tell PowerShell to go to that location. So in order to do that, type CD. And you want to do a single tick and then paste the path and then follow it with another single tick and then click enter. And what has happened is it's changed our location to be in this downloads folder. So now we can type ls and click enter and what that does is that lists the files that are in this location. So the location is downloads and we have a single file here, this jax zip. So the jax zip is the file that we want to check the hash for. So in order to do that, we want to type at this command prompt, we want to type get dash file hash and click tab and when you click tab you'll notice that the casing should change and that just lets you know that you've typed everything correctly next type uh, hit it space and we want to type jax and hit tab and PowerShell finds um, the only likely candidate in this folder that starts with the jax now space dash algo and click tab and then algorithm should pop up now we can hit space and you can hit your tab and you should see if you click keep hitting your tab you'll see um, a few different algorithm options so here we have MD5 click a few more times we see SHA1 SHA256 so in order to figure out which one we should choose we need to go back and see uh, what Jax tells us to use. So go back into the browser. We see right up here for the x64 download zip, they're saying to use SHA1 SOM. And they're providing that value to us here. So we want to copy this one and see if the file that we have, if its hash matches this. So we copy that and we go back into PowerShell. Um, let's hit tab until we get to SHA-1 then once we're at SHA-1 we can click enter 
and we get some output here. So we see the algorithm is SHA-1 and the hash is this value. So now we want to compare this value to the one that we just copied from Jack's website. And if they match, then we know that our uh, downloaded zip file is authentic. So in order to um, test these two values, we could visually inspect it, but another way that's more reliable is to use PowerShell. So we're going to do it that way. Now the first thing you want to type to do this is a single tick mark and then you want to paste the value that we got from Jax and you want to follow that with a, another tick mark. Then space dash eq for equals space and now we want to copy this value. In order to copy this value you need to go up here to the uh, Windows PowerShell uh, bar right click go to properties and just make sure that this quick edit mode is selected click OK if that's selected that'll allow you to click the F hold and drag and then once you have the value highlighted you can right click and it'll copy that value to the clipboard so next we want to type uh, single tick and then we want to paste and then we want to follow that with another single tick. Now this is saying, is this value equal to this value? And we can click enter and we see PowerShell tells us true. So now we can be sure that this JAX zip that we have is the one that was intended. It hasn't been um, tampered with. So now we go back to our file explorer and we can go ahead and double click on this file on the zip double click again and then up here we want to click extract we extract all this location is fine click extract once the uh, extraction is complete take the extracted file extracted folder rather and drag it onto desktop we can close out of these and then go into the extracted folder and we can see we've got Jack's assets it's the application files and then we've got um, this exe double click now we verified the file hash so we know that the file is authentic and as long as we trust the JAX then we can go ahead and run and the JAX application launches.